All right, so we've all had a Facebook or had one at one time. Facebook has been a great way to share videos, pictures with loved ones. It's also a great way to see videos of the up and coming future technology. More recently, I saw a video posted in my timeline of a house being fully made through printed, 3D printed material, and I thought there was no way. Today I'm going to be talking about 3D printing in general. First, I'm going to be talking about 3D printing in the medical field. I'm going to be talking about 3D printing in constructural and industrial field. Thirdly, I'm going to be talking about 3D printing for personal use, such as hobbyists and enthusiasts. So let's get started. First, 3D printing in the medical field. Now you're probably thinking, what can it be used for? There's a variety of things that scientists have found. So for example, in the donor process today, you have to wait for someone to actually die or you have to wait a very long time on that donor list. It is now being possible that scientists are finding a way to replicate your body tissue and your blood into a 3D printer and just literally replicating your organ. It's crazy to think about and it's just the upcoming future. Also, they're able to um, regenerate stem cells in newborns, which is also helping um, them learn about genetic disorders and how to fix them before it happens. There are currently four medical companies that have patented this 3D printing, um, 3M, Mitsui, Aspire Medical, and Besso Hospitals. Um, so now that we've talked about medical, I want to go into constructional and industrial. Um, we all know and have heard the coral reef is dying. It's being bleached. It's very unfortunate. Scientists have found a way to literally replicate the coral through 3D printing with a material called Ulstar, which is ultra-porous tetrahedron material. Basically what they're doing, they're going to replicate the coral, put it into the ocean, and basically what it's doing is manipulating the ocean into thinking that the coral hasn't moved and is still there. This is going to help the marine life around it be able to um, live in a sustainable, sustainable habitat and act as nothing has uh, changed. It's also going to manipulate the ocean into continuing its ocean patterns as, as if nothing had changed. Um, this is good because they have studied, a recent study has showed that the ocean's wave patterns are very crucial into the currents that move everything through the seven seas. Also later to be unveiled this month, an Ag Agricultural Constructural Convention 2017 will be the first ever fully made through 3D printed material, fully automated excavator. Um, they put out a bulletin out in any colleges um, through MIT, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, and it came back that Georgia Tech came up with the idea. What it is, is it's through um, the printing process called stereolithography, which takes um, metal and it melts it down to a high degrees of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it melts it down so where it through the process of the digital printer they're able to print layer after layer in synchronizing of cross hatches or just lines. So now that I've talked about the 3D printing in industrial constructural I want to talk about 3D printing for personal use. 3D printing didn't become big and upcoming until 2011 it was really first mentioned as something big on the Big Bang Theory, a popular um, sitcom on CBS. What they did is they were printing a battering, um, which is known from the common 1960s cartoon Batman. I myself have a 3D printer. Um, this is the filament used for it. What you do is you would take this, you would enter it into the tube at the top, it melts it down to, I believe it's 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it melts it down and what it does is it takes it, takes it, it's a plastic so it's um, pretty flimsy. It takes it through um, high laser patent printing and it goes in cross hatch layers. So you can get your templates online. Um, some of them are free and some of them cost. You can make anything from a battering to a little mini house to a little figurine of Superman or The Flash, for example. Um, I have mine, and it costs about $1,000, but it can range from $500 to $2,500, depending on what you're using it for and what material, or what your product and how well you want it to be. Um, so now, since I've talked about 3D printing, I hope as a college student, 
This is relevant to you because I believe 3D printing is our future. I believe one day 3D printers will be a common household item. I believe that it's just going to be as necessary as your microwave, your oven, or just any of those. Um, we've talked about 3D printing in the medical field. We talked about 3D printing um, in industrial and constructional aspects. And I talked 3D printing in personal for hobbyists and enthusiasts alike. Um, that is my speech on 3D printing. I hope you are now more informed on what the future is.